If I'm going to solve a problem by substitution, you have a lot of choices. You have a lot of choices on things to do first, and they are all correct. Let me write that. We have choices. We can solve the first equation for x. That's one choice. Let me lay, number these. One, two. We can solve the first equation for y. Another choice is I could solve the second equation for x. There are four choices. We can solve the second equation for x. And what's the fourth choice? Solve the second equation for y. They're all, they all would be correct first steps. We can solve the second equation for y. Now, you kind of look at the equations and pick one. I do not want to pick my third choice. If I pick my third choice, I'm going to have to divide by 2, and I'm going to end up with some fractions. And we all know if we can avoid fractions, we'd like to do that, correct? Yes. So I don't want the third choice, but it, it would be an okay choice, but it's not the most efficient choice. I'm going to take the second choice, just because. So I'm going to write the problem again. x plus y equals 5. 2x minus y equals 1. And I'm going to take the first equation and solve it for y. I'm going to write that, solve for y. So that means I'm going to do minus x on each side. And I'll have y equals, you could write 5 minus x or negative x plus 5. I'll go ahead and write 5 minus x. Now 5 minus x, they're not like terms. I cannot combine them. Here's my substitution. I'm going to take y equals 5 minus x, 5 minus x, and substitute it into the second equation where y is. That's the substitution step. I'm going to circle it in red. I think it'll show up a little bit better. Write the word substitute. So when I do that, I'm going to have 2x minus, this one's going to be a little tricky here because I got that minus sign in front of the y. Put parentheses 5 minus x equals 1. This is probably trickier than any of them you're going to see in 7.5. What about this minus sign? That distributes. That changes the sign of the, pro, of the items in parentheses. 2x minus 5 plus x equals 1. Now we can combine the like terms. 2x plus x is 3x. 3x minus 5 equals 1. Add 5 to both sides, I get 3x equals 6. What is my last step there? Divide by 3. Thank you for that answer. And if I divide by 3, I get x equals 2. So I found what the x value is. How do I get the y value? I can put 2, I could go here, 
for, I could put two for X, I could put two for, I could go here. So I'll take X equals two. If Y equals five minus X, then Y is five minus two and Y is three. So the answer, the answer we give it as an ordered pair because the answer is the pair on the graph where the lines intersect. So on my math lab, when they say give the answer, you're going to type it as an ordered pair. Let me box off my answer here. Same problem, now with elimination. Solve with elimination.